if you raised $5 million uh, for your startup, would you pay yourself more than or less than 100000 a year? 100000 a year, that's a um, pretty specific amount. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say you should pay yourself what you're worth every time. A lot of people say, oh, you should pay yourself under to help the business grow, yep, but yep. you've always got to get what you're worth. Or if you're hiring someone, you've got to pay them what they're worth, okay. I feel. So um, those $5 million worth of investments, they're investing in you and your idea. Mm -hmm. okay. If you're worried about pulling too much money out of the company, you should be the one to invest it back in so yeah. you own more of that company right, okay. rather than letting the investors have all the fun. What about tightening up the belt just so it can work? You're setting up a business yeah. that needs to succeed and it has different positions in that business. Right. You need to basically be replaceable and the, the business should be able to afford to replace your position. Right. If you set yourself up as a 50k a year salary when really that position's worth 120k a year, mm. what happens when you need to move on to something else and you need to find someone to do that job? Second reason, you're gonna be in that position for a long time. Mm -hmm. What happens when things start going well and you go, oh, okay, investors, I'm actually worth this. I paid myself a little bit to begin with, but now let's put it up. And they're like, why? Well, you said you were worth that. So exactly, yeah. yeah so you're to, undercutting yourself. You're under, undercutting yeah. yourself and the value in yourself. Right, okay. Uh, next question, Brian, is what's the toughest thing you face in your career right now? The hardest thing I face as a, I guess, a head of digital or digital director for, for NAUS um, is the client or public perception of value of digital work. Right. And I guess to break that down a bit is, everyone thinks digital work is interchangeable, there's one level of quality. There seems to be this perception in market that if you get a website, a $5,000 website is just as good as the you know more experienced guys who deliver a more expensive website mm. Mm. because it seems to look the same. A really experienced guy, if you pay him 10 hours, you get a lot more out of him Yep. than if you pay the, the cheap guys for their 10 hours. So for you, Brian, what's the dumbest thing you're seeing in the digital industry? There's a few dumb things you see, and there's some certain dumb things you want to talk about, and some you probably can't. <laughs> and, but, um, Very well yeah. put. I really <laughs> appreciate you putting it like that. One, one dumb thing that I'm starting to see a trend in is people looking for a silver bullet solution mm. to bigger problems like strategy. Some people or some businesses and even other agencies recommend these tools. You'll see the sales plug and you'll see the sales video and you'll go, all I have to do is just pay the money and my marketing is solved. These sort of over-promising sales tactics. You need to spend the time, you need to work on the strategy and it's gonna take a lot of effort to, to implement these sorts of things like marketing automation. You need to build a lot of content. You need to have workshops to figure out where it's all gonna go and then there's heaps of background technology required to, to plug it into your CRM. Mm -hmm. So that's just to avoid the sales videos is all I can say. And yeah, look yeah. deeper into people who've had the experience themselves. Very well said, very well said, mate. Now, having said that, mm. what are you doing um, about trying to change that in the industry? Um, I guess what we try to deliver, what I try to deliver is clarity in every solution or everything we do. Maybe the silver bullet solution is the big over the top, too expensive solution when all this person needs is a sort of three stage nurture campaign. Exactly. Or, or they just need to fix the, the sales team's outbound calling process to increase conversion rate. You know, there's, there's more to a problem than just what you know to be the answer. Gotcha. Really understanding the problem rather than just delivering what you're asked, I think, is, is where we can turn that around yeah. to avoid that silver you bullet. Know, you're, you're, you're being the change yeah, in the yeah. world. Yeah, <laughs> it's a bit cliche, right? Exactly. Yeah. Really, yeah. Uh, this next question is to do with any area of your life. Mm -hmm. uh, and on the last episode, it got me into a bit of trouble, yeah. uh, so we weren't <laughs> able to release the last episode. That's number three. What are you not doing day to day that you know you should be doing more of? I, I have to say, I the main thing I'm not doing the most, which is the most embarrassing, is I'm not practicing what I preach when it comes to my own digital strategy and okay. own online presence and own an content. One. So always sort of tell clients, this is what you should be doing. But then if you look <laughs> at my Twitter and if you look at my um, YouTube channel, it, there's nothing. What am I doing myself yeah. to show that there is value in doing or releasing this content, this sort of level of content? Okay. Look at us, I'm on your show. Why aren't you on my show? This is oh, you, can, you set it up yeah, next week.
<laughs> Welcome to my show. Uh, we've got Jason Ralston on it this evening. So, uh, a couple of questions, Jason. Why aren't I releasing content? So, I was going to ask you the exact same question. Yeah. Is, it, is it a momentum thing? or? Yeah, um, I'd have to say uh, all the excuses are quite weak. So, one of them is time. Now, I've got time to watch Casey Neistat's eight minute vlog, but I don't have time to make a daily vlog. Mm. That would probably take three hours. But it's less than that. You can start smaller. You can start just by sharing your opinion and I give this advice all the time but I just don't heed it. <laughs> it's simple as setting it sometimes setting a plan of the types of things you want to get out there. Yeah. Why I'm not doing it? It's it's you know selfishness. I see I've got to have to spend this much time working, then this much time to myself. Yeah. And that time I, I give to myself and I sort of see yeah. that the social channels is working. If there was <laughs> one area, one thing that you would do it where it would be tweeting or writing posts or, or photography, I've just gotten into photography. Yeah. Um, what would it be? What do you think? Um, I think it would be vlogs, but more instructionals. Ones where you can get something out of it yeah. and you go, God, i got to watch the next one because that was actually pretty easy yeah. and not just top 10 reasons why you should well, I know what I need to do. Do you know how to upload videos? It. Yeah, yep. yeah, right. yeah. Just some videos. <laughs> so this. I look forward to seeing it next week, man. <laughs> okay. Or even yeah. next year. New yeah. year. New, New year resolution yeah. for 2019. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, number five and the final question. It's your turn to, to help humble brag here, Brian. What's something that you've actually done of late that you're, uh, that was me. Oh, <laughs> well, so I should say a, um, I guess a work-related thing, but no, screw it. I was a bit claustrophobic. I went scuba diving recently, and that was awesome. I oh, thought that was awesome. Yeah, that's I did it on my honeymoon, so I, that's my humble brag. But other than that, that work-related, I think, is diving into technologies that, we have no idea about Yeah, it. we have no idea about and then understanding that yeah. now we're getting to a point where we know how they work, we've gotten through the yep. the, the haze and now we're, we're delivering awesome results for clients. Awesome. Seeing that, okay, we can do this. Next thing that comes along, no worries, I got it. Like, it's it's good. Thank you so much for being on uh, awesome. Off The Cliff. Can I say Off The Cliff.